My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I've owned this El Camino for a few weeks now and I could not wait to get in here and do the video. This is amazing. Might be the world's most ultimate El Camino. Fathom blue, cow induction, bucket seats with a four speed sitting in between them. Loaded up, AM, FM, gauges, power windows, tilt. That's a 396 under the hood. Factory air conditioning. The numbers are matching throughout. If you haven't noticed, it's Fathom Blue. Got documentation here. I have a Protecto plate. I got the original title with this car. Technically, it's a one owner car. Uh, so this thing has just got a lot going for it. It is nut and bolt concourse restored, over the top detail, front to back, in and out. It's amazing. Visit volocars.com. That's where you can look at all the pictures, and you're going to want to look underneath this thing. It's, you can eat off of it. And that's where you can find all the specs and the price, not only on this car, but we do have a few hundred collector cars. They are all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new videos are posted. But right now, join me. Let's go for a spin in this El Camino SS396. Where do I start? Let's start with the bottom like I always do. Body was lifted off the chassis, put on a rotisserie. The metal under this car, the floors, the braces, the inner, inner rockers, inner quarters, perfectly clean metal, zero rust. It was sprayed in the red oxide primer like they did at the factory, but then this one was clear coated over, so it has a nice shiny, durable finish. It looks beautiful. All the little uh, floor plugs and rubber plugs, all of them are in place. The chassis is completely restored and detailed like a model car. Uh, every component on the chassis is new. Uh, I mean, the whole front end, the ball joints, bushings, springs, shocks, steering components, uh, same thing in the back, all brand new suspension. Everything is detailed to the max. The frame is all gloss black. Body was reunited to the frame, the chassis with new bushings. It has a new correct exhaust system. It looks like the correct factory reproduction exhaust. Uh, new fuel system. The tank even has the uh, reproduction, the stamp, the label that goes on the gas tank. Uh, the whole underneath is actually detailed up with all the correct uh, assembly line markings and tags. And this was just like it rolled off the assembly line. So anyway, the fuel system, the, the sending unit, the lines, all that's new. The entire brake system's new. The brake lines, hoses, disc brakes in front, emergency brake system, all that's new. You might have noticed it has a hitch on the back. It came with a hitch. It's all chrome plated. Even the balls are chrome plated. Uh, they put it back on there because that's the way it came. It's an M20 Muncie four speed. The codes and the VIN number it's stamped on it are original to this car. It has the original, I think it's a 336 12 bolt posi rear end in the back. And of course, the whole drive line, the trans, the motor, the drive shaft, the U joints, all that looks brand new. You look up at the motor and you could wax the oil pan. It's that nice underneath this car. And it's that nice on top, too. I mean, it even feels slick. So Fathom Blue, my all-time favorite. The fit and finish is amazing. This is precision body and paintwork right here. The gaps are spot on. It is a mirror. I've said that about other cars. This is a mirror. It looks like I could reach right in and grab something there. The metal flake is laid out evenly. The clear coat polished like glass. Hood sits nice and flush. It fits up here just the way it should. That's a problem area, but this one fits spot on. Uh, the stripes, you don't feel them. They're painted correctly. 
uh, cowl induction hood with an actual cowl induction flapper. The cowl hoods come with hood pins, and everything's new. The bezels, the grill, the bumper. T3 correct headlights are in here. Gentleman I got it from says he had 95000 invested in this car. Reproduction Goodyear tires. The wheels are all restored, pristine. The correct trim rings, all the moldings, emblems. Uh, the glass is crystal clear. The moldings all around here. This is all excellent. Vinyl top. Look at the gaps. Just spotless. Just immaculate. Oh, I love that. <laughs> you can open the door with one finger. The jams, the latches, the weather strips, the sill plates are immaculate. All this trim up here is new and polished. And look at that. Beautiful. <clears throat> the rubber flap inside here, the clips that hold the flap, the cables, the latches. When I say the details, crazy, it is. I mean, look anywhere, and it's immaculate. I don't know if that's going to clear, so I'm going to close it. Closes nicely, opens nicely. Of course, the whole inside of the bed is beautiful, clean metal, painted fathom blue. Glass is crystal clear. I'm going to guess that they replaced the glass. It has a remote mirror. Uh, this door just is nice, so easy to open. We'll get back to the interior in a second. Is this not the ultimate? How can you do better than this? So in here, detailed to the max. And the tags, the markings, the colors, the finishes. Uh, it's got this little thing up here that I know is rare and, and you only see on really high-end cars. Uh, Chevelle's, the cowl induction system, the wiper motor, uh, the GM hoses and clamps. That's an actual Delco battery, not one of those fake plastic toppers. Uh, the spring clamp cables, the, the heater control valve. Uh, everything in here is, is pristine. It is a factory air conditioning system. It does have the fittings on it that tell me they upgraded it to 134 Freon. Inside is immaculate. The door pan, just the way everything fits, too. There's new cushions in the seats. So there's no wrinkles in the upholstery. And of course, it's all new. Behind that seat is a spare tire, and it has a cover over it. I pulled the cover off, and guess what's under there? A reproduction Goodyear tire, polyglass tire, and a perfectly restored rim, perfectly pristine jack, all mounted the way it should be. <clears throat> the seat belts, they've been restored. The center console. Be behind here is immaculate. The seat backs are excellent. You sit in it, you feel like you're in a new car because the cushion's nice and firm. I'm looking at a sparkling clean dash. The radio plays crystal clear. We have power windows, tilt wheel. The center console with the right chrome ball on a Hearst shifter it has a map light, uh, dome light works, the, the vents, the ashtray, everything's spotless. The clock is ticking. There's a whole 54 miles on here. That's since the restoration. This car has only got 54 miles on it. I'm not going to start it up just yet. I'm not done talking. It has the light or washer fluid monitor. I honestly don't know if that works, but it tells you if you're low on fluid. And as far down as you can look at the fuel pump, uh, everything is just spotless in here. I want to talk about the paperwork. We got blown up pictures of the numbers. The originals are in there, but I have copies. Uh, which will be posted on our website. But it has the Protecto plate, which has the original owner's name that matches the title that I got with it. And it has the Protecto plate will have the motor, trans, and rear end codes on there. So that helps document a car. This is just a copy of it, the original sitting in there on the seat. And then there's just all sorts of uh, registration cards, insurance cards, uh, all with the original owner's name on it. Now, the title we had to transfer into our name. I think we requested 
to get it back. So you will get a new Illinois title, but we have real good color copies and hopefully the state of Illinois will give that back to us. <clears throat> I'll start this up. Never use the word perfect. This one tempts me though. I, I haven't found anything wrong with it. I'm sure we can if we look hard enough, but even in the ashtrays, like new. Towel induction flapper just closed. It's supposed to. If you are the type that wants the best, oh, it just clicks shut. Beautiful. Your neighbor will not have one better. If you consider the condition, the options, and colors, I would doubt there's a better one in the country. I really would. There you have it. Go to volocars.com if you want one of the world's nicest El Caminos. I just gave you my impression of what I think of this vehicle, but you can contact our salesman at volocars.com if you have any specific questions or concerns. They'll be more than happy to answer those. They'll also make the delivery and financing and paperwork real easy. That's what they do every day. Uh, so there you have it you just enjoy watching the videos, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.